welcome back. Hope everyone's staying safe. I'm Patty. Today I'm going to be doing another minimalistic negative space pour using my recipe, um, the Shelly Art Bloom recipe. That recipe is down in the description. The only difference here is that these paints are thinner and my base, my pillow will be thinner and my swipe color will be thinner. So if you use that recipe, depends on what technique you want to do with this. So just keep that in mind if you're using the quantities that I have listed. Anyway, um, let's go over the colors. Uh, this is a, a 10 by 20 canvas. This first color is um, 24 karat deco art. I mean, it's still thick by, you know, regular standards, but I did thin them down from what I usually use this technique. In fact, that one's a little bit too thick. I'll add water. Um, this one is Color Cottage, totally teal, and Grumbacher turquoise together. This one is Color Shift Green Flash and Amsterdam Olive Green. It's a beautiful shimmer shift to it. This one is Hagi Life Copper Penny um, and Artist Loft Copper. This one is all kinds of blues. Basics Light Blue Hue, um, Artist Loft Iridescent Blue, which is that this one? This one. It also has Amsterdam Turquoise or yeah, turquoise, and it has golden manganese blue hue. So there's like four different blues in here. And then this really pretty color is Hagi Life Purple Haze and Artist Loft Violet. Sort of a shift color also. Um, my cell activator, I'll be swiping with business cards. This is Amsterdam Black Oxide mixed with uh, Australian Floetrol which looks like this, not U.S. Floetrol. I haven't tried the U.S. Floetrol with this yet, but um, and it might work fine, I don't know. The white I'm using is about 90% um, color place satin from Walmart, off the shelf white, and about 10% GAC 800. So that's about the consistency of that. This technique usually takes very thick paint, thicker than normal, but I actually thinned this down. So I added water to all these colors too, a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up um, and I will be back. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna be swiping with business cards. So I have them, old business cards, cut different sizes and I'm going to be pouring my um, cell activator on this piece of paper towel here. That's what I'm going to be dipping the cards in once I get the colors down. I call this my peacock palette. So I'm going to be pouring it in this order that I showed you. Let's get the pillow down. So it's going to take a lot of paint. I'm going to help it along. Okay. Okay. I am going to have to tilt this, of course, to spread out the paints. I usually just go that far with helping it along the edge, but I'll go ahead and speed it up. I think I'm going to help it along. Just want to make sure that goes over the edge. You have that ridge right on the edge that can be a bugger sometimes. Okay, I think I got it as much as I need to right now. Um, it looks like the bulk is still in the middle, so I'm just going to go with what's there. 
The problem with putting too much paint is, of course, you have a composition you like and you have to mess it up because it's you have to get the paint off. You don't want to leave a whole lot of paint on there. And if you're going to torch this type of paint, do a fast job. I don't want a crusting. Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. Hope everyone is staying safe. This COVID lockdown is a bummer. That's for sure. We are really locked down here. Okay, I think I'm going to... This paint will really spread out. Doesn't look like I'm putting a lot, but it, you'll be surprised. Don't want that like that. A little tiny bit will stretch out to be something really big. If you don't get that right away. I just love this color green. I do use it a lot. I'm layering my colors and I don't really want to go too far outside of that. One of the last ones I did, I, if you go outside then that color fades a little bit and it just, it's like the pseudo swipe sort of, but it, I just prefer it like this. So you like that little blues on the outside. Let's see how that turns out. I put the gold on top because this gold was not showing up very well. So I'm going to go over it twice here. Get over there with that blue. gold. Okay. Um, that. All right. Looks like a question mark. Perfect, because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So I'm going to get to swiping using different sides, sizes of my cards. Put some cell activator on it. And be careful here and go ahead and put it down. Let it glide along. It's okay if I don't get it all. Turn it. Mm 
I'm going to use a little bit smaller one. Go right around, right along here. I'm going to do something else up here. Hmm. <clears throat> I gotta think about this, sorry. Okay, well, it's hard for me to swipe. I'm right-handed, so I need to turn it around. I'm really loving these colors. All right, I think I want to. I'm concerned about right here, so I think I'm going to use a little, a little one. And I don't mind it going over that white. In fact, I wish it would have done that a little bit more. But I'm going to go ahead and. Get it here. Hope I didn't make that worse. don't want to overwork it, but there's things I don't I want to do here. Okay. I think that starts. I really want more action right in here. Okay, I'm going to stop. I tend to overwork things. All right, for now, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of, uh, whatever you call them. Little points.
I don't want it to look like a bug. Ready to put another one. It looked like an antenna. Okay, let's just go with that. Let's see how this comes along. I already see some areas here. Need more paint. Um, and the problem with not having an even coat is some of this is going to move faster than other areas, which might mess up what I want to do. If, if there's more paint in the middle, which there is, then over here where this is, then that's going to maybe overtake some of those areas, if that makes sense. So let's get to tilting. You'll be surprised on how much this will open up. See that middle moving? And that other area not moving so much. So there goes that, okay. Sort of moving it back towards the middle. Yeah, this is not moving like that middle is, so... Huh. Yeah, that's going to get squished. Well... You can see the paint when it gets to the edge. So I had to let it go. I'm going to turn it around so you can see. I got to get it back in the middle here. Now I just took my hand over my canvas and that's never a good idea. Especially when your hands are messy, you will mess it up. Okay, I want to get this down to where I could see it. Okay, that's it. Let's see if I can save this. Now I want to go this way. Move that. I'm sorry if I'm... back towards the middle a little bit. Oops. Sorry guys. There we go. So those little lines became these big I think I can stop. And I think I like it. Very much peacock colors. Now when you're paint with this technique, you need to cover your work as it dries. So I'm going to go ahead and touch up the sides. I'm so happy with this one. I'm not getting hardly any bubbles yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and touch up the sides and then I will bring you down. I like it. Okay. I'll be back. My hands are gross. All right, here's a close up. So, what did I learn? You want to keep your design, keep it in the middle more, or spread out the paint more on the edges. And try to have equal amounts 
all over the canvas. I'm just afraid I won't be able to get a lot of the paint off if I do that, but I can try. All the little points that I put in are pretty much gone. It's really pretty though. Yep, there it is. I will try again. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget the recipe is down below. My Etsy shop is down below. And you could shop my Amazon links. Every time you get in there, go ahead and shop for whatever you want. I get a little bit of credit at no extra cost to you. Thanks so much for watching. Keep on pouring. Bye.